very creative. They were on a small raft in the vast ocean and they ended up using a cigarette lighter as a beacon and it worked. Images from the Coast Guard show the Cohasset couple in their raft just before being rescued about nine miles off the coastline. The pair was found at 4 a.m., 12 hours after heading out on the water. Yeah, they're lucky, right? This is a pin in, in, in the middle of the ocean. That pin was this, their small raft about 10 feet long, the dark green color hard to see in the darkness. After a three-hour search by air and water, the Coast Guard was able to spot them thanks to a cigarette lighter. And the woman happened to have a cigarette lighter and was flicking her lighter, and that caught their attention. The Coast Guard got the pair off their raft safely and brought them onto the rescue boat. They were brought back to Pemberton Pier in Hull, where EMS was waiting. We received them from the Coast Guard in good health. Um, they walked up to the ambulance, they climbed in the ambulance, they were evaluated, and ultimately they said, you know, we want to just go home, we don't want to be transported. The couple went out on the water without cell phones or life jackets. It was their son who reported them missing after he hadn't heard from them. We have this every summer we go through this where people get on these rubber rafts and we have these offshore winds and they just get pushed immediately offshore and once they get out away from the lee of the land, um, they're out in the middle of the ocean. The Coast Guard identified the couple as Joseph and Kathleen Erner of Cohasset in their early 50s. Uh, also, uh, the whole fire chief says that those strong storms that passed through our area this morning, well, it just so happens that the couple was already brought ashore when those storms passed through. So certainly luck playing a role here on many levels. Live in Hull, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5. All right, Sarah, thank you. This is video you'll see only on five. Right now, this man is being held without bail, accused of trying to abduct a teenager at a local mall, and police say that is not the...